All right, so I have one I haven't seen in a while, uh, Shannon. I don't get too many over here. They're in Dallas as well. Their main thing is that they use fire to heat up the containers for the wort. So that's very controlling fire with wood. You get hot spots, uh, you get big old flame ups. It's definitely something that you gotta control and tame and get under to where you need it the most. So it's pretty neat. You know, it doesn't get any smoke in it or nothing, but it's definitely a, a different high type of uh, heat. So like you've got an electric stove, steam, like a bain marine compared to a fire is different. And so this is just something they feel that really contributes to their beer. So this one's pow pow purple. It's an all natural sour wheat. So wheat beer, it's gonna have a little more body. The, definitely the more of the, the that type of grain is going to be a little different. It's almost like like liquid flour, or tortilla, or bread, or something like that. It's it's very interesting. So this definitely has some color in it. Look at that. So it did say purple. So I'll give it a little quick read in a minute. Give me a second. So looking like we have as a sour wheat beer from it and natural blackberries and blueberries. Good combo. See the combination with wheat berries gives this beer. A beautiful purple color, sugar in the fruit ca causes a second fermentation process, uh, ex as a, accentuating the natural sour flavors in the beer. So taste notes include tart fruit, sour patch kids, pears, well as barbecue, chicken, hot spices. Uh, it's unfiltered and unpasteurized. So <clears throat> pasteurization, uh, you can do it at any time. Uh, when you, after when you make it, you give it one more heat wave. Um, for beer, it's not the best thing, so good deal. Ooh, it smells almost like, not quite, but it reminds me of like the vitamins because it had a, a very savory flavor and a fruit flavor. So you got the savory beer that has the sourness and then the berry, so it kind of reminds me of that. So like Sour Patches or Flintstone Vitamins. But the flavor, it's not overbearing and sour, but it's definitely present. You're getting the beautiful berries and then the malty wheat combo is kind of like in the middle. So it's almost like a, like the same for me when you eat a pie. But you do citrus or, or not citrus, fruit pies. You get the beautiful fruit, the sugars, and then the flour in the, in the pie uh, contributes to the profile and adds on to it. So that's really nice. Um, it's a little, little dry, little tannic, but beautiful. So for anybody who hasn't had sours, this is one that'll push your boundaries. Anyone that has sours and likes sours, you'll probably love this. Um, honestly, I love them because the first beer I had, it was like an Irish red and it was on point, spot on, straight, like beautiful. So that's what it looks like. Hopefully you like it. Hopefully you can see it if you're in Dallas and they're in that area, they're not far. So you can definitely find them, check them out. I try and find as many beers as I can by them. I really like their styles. They're kind of like classic and modern together. So, you know, very clean, simple, streamlined. They're not trying to stand out from the pictures. They really want you to just have good quality beer in your hand. And I will never argue against that. So two thumbs up on this one. I'm going to enjoy this. You have a good night.